Senator McCarthy takes a gamble. Armed with the flimsiest of evidence, he takes on a respected institution, the U.S. Army. He claims it is infiltrated by communists and that senior officers are turning a blind eye. The explosive charges trigger public hearings in the Senate. Live TV coverage provides millions of Americans with their first sustained look at the crusading senator. For over a month, McCarthy and his team exchange fire with the Army's counsel. A lawyer for the Army, Joseph Welch, demands that McCarthy's staff release its secret list of alleged Army subversives. McCarthy responds by dredging up a past link between a young lawyer in Welch's firm and the Communist Party. McCarthy's gamble, taking on the army, backfires. His charges don't stick. Many in his own party turn against him. Six months later, the Senate officially censures him. His reign of terror is over, and his reputation in tatters. He falls into the grip of alcoholism, which in 1957 kills him at the age of 48. <laughs> 